Hi, Anna Whitehouse here, founder of Flex Appeal and Mother Pucker. Flex Appeal is a campaign to fight for flexible working for everyone, not just parents, it's for all. And this time last year, I opened up Flexpo and I don't think any of us could imagine where we'd be sitting right now trying to work in our homes, zooming in, logging in. Now, I think if companies hadn't been able to zoom in, log in, they'd have had to shut down. So I think the first point of today is uh, it's funny how many companies were able to facilitate working from home seemingly overnight when they'd said that they couldn't. You know, when it comes to cold, hard cash, it's interesting what can actually happen. If they didn't zoom in, they'd have had to shut down. Seemingly overnight, uh, people were heralding this flexible working revolution. It's happening. It's working. You must be so happy. Flex Appeal works. I was like, no, it doesn't. Um, we are not working from home and flexible working isn't working from home. That's one tiny strand of how flexible working works. Flexible working is for everyone. It is for those living with disabilities. They may need to work at home. It's for those with caring responsibilities. They need, may need to go home earlier to see their parent with Alzheimer's. It's for people, all people, and not all people want to work from home. And I think uh, it's important to note that we're not working from home at the moment. We are working at home in the context of pandemic. What has happened overnight in the context of COVID-19 is that women are being pushed backwards in their careers. They're having to step back, step down, step out of the picture from careers that they fought incredibly hard for. Because when you look at Ebola, SARS, you look at what happened post pandemic, it was women who had to step back. It was the gender pay gap that widened. And I think on that point, it's interesting to note that gender pay gap reporting was halted this year. It wasn't just extended like VAT, it was actually halted and stopped. So we're gonna have this big gap in our understanding of where we are in terms of gender equality. Now, you know, it's not all <laughs> doom and gloom. Uh, mental health has increased around people being with their people. I mean, we knew that already. Humans need interaction. And, you know, when you're strapped to a slab of MDF under a strip lighting, uh, that's not good for humans. What has happened is the floodgates have opened. Uh, and that's where Flex Appeal started. It's where Flexpo started, was in that point where flexible working requests were being denied for business reasons. But the main business reason was if we give it to you, we'll have to give it to someone else uh, and that will open the floodgates. And my question was, well, why can't we open the floodgates? What is the fear? What people are drowning behind these floodgates? And in a period of 48 hours in the context of coronavirus, companies had to open the floodgates and it was not their choice. It was not something they had control of. But the second conversation we need to push forward is over productivity. People are burning out. The world around us is buzzing. It's white noise constantly. And that is not good for business. That is not good for mental health. That is not good for people. And that is not humane. Ironically, and people will probably shoot me down for saying this. I I love the nine to five. I like having boundaries. You know, I'm not fighting for people not to work in a way that works for them. Right now, as I sit in my kitchen, ready to zoom on in five minutes, um, I want to say that we partnered with Sir Robert McAlpine, a construction firm who believed in Flex Appeal, believe in Flexpo, believe in humans working in a more humane way, but also believe that flexible working isn't just for mothers. And that is the biggest issue I have faced is that people saying, well, you know, it's just for you, it's for your, it's for mums, it's for parents. I was like, no, it's for the 8,000 men who commit suicide every single year on construction sites. Their mental health as, is as important as my mental health, as is important as my child's mental health. And so Robert McAlpine has funded research into the current pandemic, how companies are working. We've spoken to 1,400 companies to establish how they've navigated these choppy waters, what they're doing to ensure people aren't burning out when they log on, how we can wield this current momentum towards working anywhere and everywhere to human and business advantage. So I'm really excited to open Flexpo with our Forever Flex report, which is making flexible working work beyond a pandemic because flexible working, living and working, working in a human and humane way is not just for 2020.
It's forever. It's not just for mums. It's not just for dads. Not just for white collars, nor just for shift workers. Not just for those who are hands-on, or those behind the scenes. Not just for those with ideas, nor those who hear them. It's not just for 2020. It's for the 1,400 construction workers who took their own lives between 2011 and 2015. It's for the thousands of carers pushed out of work and all the people suffering while in it. It's for our mental health and for us to work and live, not live to work. It's for anyone who needs it. It's for you.